Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hip hop beat in Reaper. So in this video, we're going to create a hip hop drum beat in Reaper. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, download the plugin Satala, which is a drum machine VST instrument, as we're going to use it in this video. And once it's downloaded and installed, we could open Reaper. Now, I've already created a new project with a drum track and a piece of music with a loop that we could play along with our drum beat. But we're not going to play this now, we'll play it a bit later. So we'll start by going to the track effects on the drum track. We'll go to Instruments and choose Satala. Double click it. And this is what the plugin looks like. Now, although we could add our own custom sounds to this plugin, let's just use the included ones. We could always tweak them a bit later. Let's hear them. We'll just use these for now. Then let's change the tempo to 111 beats per minute. Let's close this. And let's make a four bar loop in the project just by dragging in the ruler. So this whole section will repeat. Then we'll go down here and turn on looping. Then we'll create an empty MIDI item that we could add notes to. Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and just drag. Now we have an empty MIDI item. Let's double click it to open up the MIDI editor, which looks like this. And over here, what we see is called the piano roll, but we could change it to be more useful for drums. Just go up here and choose the second button and it switches to the named notes view, which makes more sense for drums. And as you can see, the notes are already named. Then let's go down here and change our grid to quarter notes, giving us this grid system where we could add our notes. Just drag to add some. Let's add a snare to the two and four of every measure. Which will sound like this when we play it. So, for the closed hi hat, we're going to use a feature called Paint Notes. On PC, it's all control, and on Mac, it's option command. Notice how the cursor changes to a paintbrush. And just drag across this line to create notes in every box. And now let's change the grid to 16th notes. Let's select all the notes and let's trim their lengths to be a 16th note long. It's not going to change their sound because they're drums. And now let's select all the closed hi-hats by right-clicking over here. Then we can copy this part to the open hat, control on the PC, command on the Mac, by dragging it up and moving it over two slots. Now the open hat is too loud, so let's bring down its velocity right here. That's better. Let's duplicate this part to the maraca. Just duplicate it up. Make that volume a bit louder. And now to make it more stereo, Let's go back to the plugin. Let's pan the open hat a bit to the left and the maraca a bit to the right. It makes the beat sound wider. Now let's add some claps.
What's that two over here? And another one over here. Let's bring up the volume. And let's add the kick on beat one and three. Let's add a few pickups for the kick. Let's add a break over here where we delete everything but the kicks. Just double click to delete the notes. And now we have a break over here. So now let's adjust the sounds to make them sound better. Let's start with the kick. Let's solo it. Let's start with the shape and cut down the length. Make it shorter. Then let's make it deeper by bringing down the tuning. Then we'll work on the snare. Let's make that shorter as well. Tune it down a bit. Let's adjust the tone to make it brighter. Let's check out the closed hat. Adjust the tuning. Then the open hat. Tune it down a bit. And like the snare, Let's make the hand claps brighter. Then the maracas. Tune them down a bit. And let's hear it all back. Now let's compare it to before. And after. I think that sounds much better. Now let's hear it with this musical loop. I think it works pretty well. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a hip hop beat in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.